Hey guys, uh, so sorry about that. I know my video length is back at the right length. Earlier it was so short, I cannot do my video. I'm trying to make this be so fast and I can't keep holding my time because it's going to like show my video. This is hopefully the only video I'm going to do because of the whole sequence and all things, but I just got through writing some of my book. My book I'm writing, which might be sold on my website. Check that out, please. And... So, yeah. I'm going to be talking to you guys about, like, just second chances and those things. I feel like not everyone has those. And I like, don't even get to have a second chance. But some things, it's like, that's what I struggle with most of the time. Uh, having the empathy and faith in God and God's word. And so I'm going to talk about that. So, I mean, sometimes, like, I would go to church and I would study and I would do those things about God. And I'll read those things about it, but I wouldn't really know, you know, what he's saying and those things. Like, sometimes people would plead and they would thank someone for something, but they wouldn't know what they're saying. And sometimes, like, I would just go to, like, problems, stuff like that. And I would always, like, go to, like, these issues with, like, people that I know that are close to me. And, like, sometimes I would go to, like, those things that I don't want to say because it's personal. But, I mean, I would always want a second chance. But God never gives us a second chance, I think. Because sometimes God doesn't have the strength to give us that. He can't give us second chances all the time. Like, sometimes people, they beg and plead him for second chances with life. But sometimes, like, it's like a story, and you're making a story. And, like, there's a part two and a part, you know, different parts to it. Because so many different, there's so many different parts when you're living with God. There's so many different, like lifestyles like your life is broken into different lifestyles different parts that you're going to be like not even just enraged and deranged and like i always just look at you don't you'd always get deranged about that and that's the reason why that there's different steps to that because sometimes like when you have problems there's different steps it's like a ladder to whatever it had been to and like on that ladder like you're trying to survive and get to God and God's word. Hopefully it's will be like on the right time. Left. But I'm just be fast so I can spend my bed, you know, on time and all things like some girls and their beauty that's what like strikes them and like their beauty especially like black women, like their beauty is just so enraging and it keeps on like enraging and like all those different things and like some black girls like, their beauty is just, like, off the charts, and, like, their beauty, like, black women, especially, I was talking about earlier in my video, like, they enrage, and they try to really just focus on what they're, like, you know, it's gonna be real, stuff like that, but, like, back then, especially, like, you know, those times, like, no one had a chance to do that. That's, like, today, how, like, I struggle, like, I used to struggle with problems, stuff like that. I try to take notes, sorry about that. I try to take notes so I could, like, help myself with that. But in those things, I try to pray to God about those things, but sometimes it wouldn't work. And, you know, me and, like, people I knew and stuff, we would pray also together to make it like, simpler and more easier and stuff. But sometimes that wouldn't also work. Like, black women, they have a sense of, you know, spirituality more, and you see that more in them. And they have, like, that, you know, that whole, like, enraging, like, power. Like, they can't stop it. And so, they just keep, like, struggling and trying to get through, like... Sometimes you will struggle, and when you will struggle, like, it's so hard, and it's so struggling-worthy. But, you know, God, He's always there with us, and that's why He gives, tries to give us a second chance. Because sometimes you won't have a second chance in your life. Sometimes they'll be struggling to stuff, like, I would go to school, or whatever it had been, and I would be doing something with that, or, like, maybe I'd take a test, or whatever it is. And sometimes, like, my school, like, some schools aren't even, like, campuses, because they have, like, the, you know, all the different stuff. But colleges are bigger than co uh, high schools, except for some of the big, you know, high schools. Mine isn't, but, you know, it's just so self-demanding. Because sometimes you would go to like different things over like that. You always like depend on a friend or something like that, or maybe an adult. But you don't really know that there's something there that's there for you. Like, so you guys always want to have a second chance, but you don't know if you're gonna always gonna have that. If you're always gonna have that second chance, like 
That's the more, that's about the, that's like the healthier steps in your life. There's different healthier steps that you can follow, which is like, not just reading the Bible and stuff like that, but like, listening to God, praying to God, asking a friend or an adult or someone that's a little bigger than you are, that's a better friend of yours or something, to just help you with your life. Those are more healthier goals to focus on, so that way that you can start focusing on those things and start like, paying attention to those things and be like, hey, I can like, do this now, or hey, I can like, start focus. You know, really on what I've been doing. All the time you're traveling or between breaks over that, I know some of y'all guys broke off and like, hey, I don't want to worry about this anymore or something, but like, you guys are back to worrying about those things because you have so many different things that are, you know, just piled. I don't know. Like, you know, demandation and demanding and deliberation is what you're really deliberating on. You really have to start deliberating and start focusing on more of the positive and more of the, you know, things they're going to be focusing on, especially in your life. I know you guys hate seeing that blame thing. I'm going to try to get it set up in time soon, but I don't know about that right now. So, you know, that's like, that's like the drug path through life. Like, you have to take the drug path through your life. That's in, like, taking notes every day, not just, like, going on a run. That's not what I meant, like. Taking a job path in your life with God is pretty much just taking that path and you're going to like want learn more about him. Try to like focus more on really what you're you know, doing. Like I try to focus on what I'm doing, you know, what I'm really focusing on. So I'm trying to take that job path in my life. And this is a job can be taking for like the rest of our lives until I guys get older and all this other stuff, the more elderly and stuff. You know, some of y'all really don't want to pay attention and don't pay attention to those things, but those things are really great. Like, there's a, you know, there's all these different things that you can even, like, focus on. Like, if you watch other YouTube videos, they talk about those things in their videos, and, like, some of y'all, some of us, uh, I don't know if I'm going to but I'm going to say a couple more things, like, you know, I watch other videos on like, people talking about those things, and, like, it's going to come to you, but you have to make it come to you also. Like, you can't just keep waiting and waiting and waiting and then saying, I've already been focusing on my life. I've already been focusing on God. Like, but I just don't know. Like, you have to keep focusing on what, you know, your deliberation or whatever that's just calling. It's calling. It's all calling upon you guys. Like, hey, I'm not trying to beg, but hey. Praying is a strategy you can use, but it's not one of those strategies that you can always use in your life. And that's always, like, I'll be, like, with people that I know so that, and now we're trying to, like, maybe, like, pray and stuff. Even in between times, sometimes if your faith do that, because some of, some of them aren't even, like, the same thing that I've been. Like, some of y'all are, like, atheists and all that sort of stuff, but I'm not going to put that into this because that's what it's all about. But just really try to focus on really what you can amount to. Because that's better in your life than the struggling with what you're not going to amount to. Like, most, like, different cultural people that are from different cultures and stuff like that, they try to focus in on that, but they have their own, like, different, like, way that they do that. And so, without, like, like just don't, you know, think about the other paths of like that. Some of y'all have problems with just focusing on straightforward stuff. This is why you have a second chance with those things. And it's not just that, like... You guys can also start to doing start to do more trusting in God, other things. So yeah. So please just try to do those things for me because I love it, and also hit the email link. Go go. You can go to my email also. Go to my website. Please check that out. It's going. I'm gonna be adding more things on it soon, because my phone's only at like that percent. And I'm trying to get the charge up. So. And then you guys just start to try to focus more on those things because you know what your life, your life is like heading for you. And also just try to subscribe and like and all sorts of different things. I'm probably not going to make another video. Till then, the next video I'm going to be making is probably going to be like a little fun hack video or something. So I was going to make one on like the writing process, but you guys already know about that stuff. Basically, the writing process, if you want to know about it right now, what it is right now, is just taking your time to start like writing, and start thinking about what you're writing, thinking about what you're doing. It's sort of like a, like an, an, an elimination process. So, 